Hey guys, it's me, and today for once, the lighting is actually good right now in my room, which I'm shocked. But today I thought I would just do like a very chill, like chit chat, get ready with me for you guys, but also talk about some goals that I have for the new year. I am going to go ahead and put this out there. I'm not the type of person to like do resolutions anymore because in the past I've set them up and everything and always wound up getting extremely depressed about it because I could never keep up with things and stick to things. So instead I just set up like a few goals that are pretty easily attainable and things that I know that I can strive for and to achieve. Obviously there are going to be other things that I would love to be able to do but these are the ones that I know that I at least have a chance of being able to accomplish. And I thought that I could make this video a bit more fun by doing my makeup while talking to you guys about this stuff and also give you guys like a quick few updates as well as what's been going on lately here and there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop on into this video. But if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below for those of you who want to follow me across my different social media links. And yeah, let's do this. It might seem like a lot of moisturizer. And it is. Yesterday, as I went up filming, this video was Christmas. So I've exfoliated quite a few times these last few days since I want to allow my skin to have a day of rest. Also, I didn't feel like doing anything fancy with my hair so this is second day hair all I did was brush out my hair this morning and that's it I I was thinking about like restraining it and everything making it look nice but I'm just like I don't I don't care I don't care for my eyes I'm gonna be using the Afrique palette from Juvia's Place I've played around with most of the shades in this palette but today I'm gonna be playing with Bento Kissy Fifi Kofi and maybe Cameroon and Angelique. I'll probably use Angelique, but I'm not entirely sure if I'll use Cameroon or not today. So I know I disappeared for a hot second and that is because I just had like, I think I had like three videos fall through that just weren't going to work out and be decent. So I just scrapped them all. And then by the time I could film again, it was like the week of Christmas, like this week, and it was gonna be today. But I was able to post on my second channel. I actually was very active on my second channel this month. Because this past month on my music channel, I posted videos Mondays through Friday, three weeks in a row. I was very very active on my second channel this month but yeah so i got a bunch of music video reactions up on my second channel and then i also uploaded the video for my favorite music releases of the year and so i got that video up it's a long one it's 40 minutes long but i highly highly recommend you guys check that video out i took this past week off because I mean, holidays and everything. Just wanted to have some time down and everything. Cause I mean, I filmed so much for that channel and cranked out so many videos for it. So it just made sense to me to just like take a week off for Christmas, but I'll be returning next week. I'm actually gonna be filming for that channel tomorrow, maybe. I might actually have to film for that shit today. Oops. If you guys wanna go check out my second channel, the link is always down in the description box below, which I've actually been trying to make it a habit to start putting videos from that channel at the end titles of my videos lately. And because of the fact that I've been so active on that channel, I still haven't started playing the Last of Us, because I think I mentioned this before, I'm just not ready for that emotional turmoil just yet, but know that it is going to be happening soon, eventually, especially with the second game coming out soon. I'm getting over sickness right now. I'm still going through it to a degree, but I'm a lot better now. So I got laryngitis, which is a singer's worst enemy. And I lost my voice for about three days. 
So, and I just got it back yesterday. So just in time for Christmas, I got my voice back. So I've been dealing with that. I'm on medication right now and I'm gonna be on medication for several more days. I think I'm gonna still be taking medication up until like the first of the year. So that's gonna be fun. I've lost my voice a few times over the years. And better yet, I lost my voice a few times this year alone. But I never lost my voice in the way that I did this time around because this time around I don't know why but my voice just went so bizarre this time around with losing it because I sounded like an old man a robot and a wookie all at the same time like I mentioned earlier yesterday was Christmas and I had a lovely time with my family yesterday like things just seemed more chill this year for some reason I don't know why they just did not like my Christmases are ever like crazy or anything it's just that this year just felt very simple for some reason I don't know why it just did I'm actually not going to be doing a Christmas haul this year just simply because like nothing really like worth showing in a video was gifted to me this year and then too it's just like I've been doing like Christmas hauls for ugh, shit like so many years on this channel I think I did the first one on this channel like back in 2012 but I still plan on doing like a New Year's haul or like in like beginning of the year haul video type thing like I've done since 2013 I'm still planning on doing one of those haul videos. I just don't know when it's gonna be. Don't know when it's gonna be happening. And I'll address that in just a bit once we get into the resolutions part of this video. I've been rambling on about like these things, first bits and stuff are too long now. But yeah, Christmas was nice, very simple. Hung out with the fam. I enjoy being around my family. I really do. But then again, I only ever see my dad's side of the family and I like my dad's side of the family a lot. So yeah. And I hope you guys, if you guys celebrate Christmas, I hope you all had a fantastic time. Now let's talk about what you guys are actually here for and those are the resolutions. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am not really the type of person to do New Year's resolutions because in the past I've done them. But I always wind up getting so depressed so quickly into the year about it because I set up these goals that I want to achieve and then I just wind up not meeting those goals or getting anywhere close to meeting those goals and wind up getting super depressed about it. The goals that I set up for myself nowadays are a lot easier to attain. I pay more attention to like my personality and how I work as a person and everything into consideration with the goals that I set up for myself for the year. The first goal that I have on my list is to get a new job. Although I did get my second job at the beginning of November, I only kept that job for, for 13 days, so not even two full weeks. I talked about reasons why I left that job and everything in my previous to check it ready with me and I posted I think like at the end of November or at the beginning of December I can't remember when I posted it I need to get back to working again because for one I'm running low on money and two I mean like I need to be able to get work experience so that way I can pursue the career that I want to pursue, I'm going to try to start putting in applications the Saturday that this video goes up. I'm going to try to start putting in applications because um, I don't know who all is going to be hiring or like regular positions. I know some places they'll continue hiring for like seasonal positions all the way throughout December and so I want to make sure that like with getting a new job that I'm not going to be hired on seasonally and that I'm going to be hired on as like a regular employee. The next two goals like 
come along with getting a job and those are getting my room situated and getting my channel situated well I say channel the new channel situated because I've talked about this the entire year on this channel but I want to rebrand myself here on YouTube start a new channel it's going to be exactly like this channel which is a different place and start over start fresh getting my room situated and rebranding myself here on YouTube both of those go hand in hand because like with getting my room situated that's going to like like allow myself to have like new setup and everything like room to put everything in and to like bring new life into this channel bring new life into it with rebranding myself on the platform and then too the test my theory as to the fact that the algorithm has killed off this channel and the only way I'll be able to like get my room situated is if I get a job and start making money again and the goal for like getting my room situated is to be able to get it done by April at the latest and at the earliest the soonest that I think that I'll be able to achieve that is March and I think that's pretty attainable like getting my room situated by March I mean like I, it's not gonna cost me that much money to finish up my room that's like the main thing that I want to have done is my room and then for the channel the goal for when I get my channel situated and everything the rebrand taken care of that's gonna probably be about June that is what I'm hoping for things to happen is in June eyeliner and mascara on I just did top mascara because yeah I'm gonna try and do my foundation with a brush today because I haven't done foundation with a brush in a hot minute so I'm gonna try that out today and again not gonna be wearing any primer because having a nice moisturized face is good enough next goal for 2020 is to hang out with friends more often because this past year for so many different reasons I did not hang out with friends that often I hope that I allow myself and am even allowed honestly to be able to hang out with my friends more often this year and in a similar vein to like hanging out with friends I hope to be able to like maybe even start dating this year I've talked about this before but I haven't talked about it in a long time but I've kept myself from dating for a very long time because I've always have been like you need to get your life together before you start dating I feel as if I have things together enough to warrant me to be able to allow myself to start dating and to get into a relationship but like when it comes to like relationships though like I told myself years and years ago like the reason why you can't get into a relationship is because you don't know how to drive and you don't have a job well now I know how to drive and I've had a job I know that with having at least one job under my belt I now have experience and the potential to get a new job be back to like meeting those expectations properly that I set up for myself all them years ago this foundation doesn't look that good applied with the brush as I can see like clinging to like dry patches and everything I'm just gonna continue being a sponge ass bitch let's see if setting spray will help out the foundation This leads into another point as well. I think dating might help out my mental health because I think I've talked about this before in the past, but I have struggled with loneliness a lot over the years. And with like loneliness comes depression. And depression is definitely something I have 
dealt with a lot this year. My first ever job that I got this year triggered my depression. Losing Lucky last month triggered my depression. I've just been a depressed ass bitch this year. Hopefully this year I'll actually work towards getting my mental health checked. Only problem is though is that I honestly don't know how to go about doing it here in the states. I know that insurance can cover mental health related stuff. I know my mental, I mean not my mental health, and I know my insurance can cover certain places but at the same time it's just like I don't know how well it's gonna cover it because I mean like my health insurance isn't the best so hopefully I'll get my mental health situated this year and start actually getting that in shape speaking of getting in shape that's a goal that I have always made for myself to finally get in shape and although I would like to get in shape this year that's on like the very end of my things that I want to accomplish this year. I know there's like two other things that I want to be able to accomplish this year, but getting in shape is one of them, but it's not high up there because it's just like the only way I know I'll be able to get in shape is if one, I make myself get in shape and two, if I learn like a good way to go about doing it and learn how to do like weights and shift shift wow and if I learn how to like work with weights and shit but also like I need to have like a gym buddy because it's like I don't want to rush into it and get like a trainer right from the get-go because it's just like I don't want to make a commitment that I'm not ready to make yet so I want to start out with just like simply going to the gym with a gym buddy that knows what it is that they're doing oh yeah this is a great lip for this look Ooh, this is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Dazed. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this lip color so much. So the makeup look is done, but I have two more goals that I want to tell you guys. So I'll go ahead and tell you those now. And both of these things are pretty easy to attain. I just have to make sure that I play my cards right and save money where I need to and all that jazz. And that is to, one get some more piercings. I've been telling myself for years that like I'm gonna get more piercings this year. I'm gonna finally do it. Even after I got my first job and started making money at my first job and everything, I was telling myself like I have money right now. I can go out and get piercings and everything. I've been wanting to get these piercings for so long. I have the means to do so. I can do this shit. Let me do this shit. And I never did that shit. The goal for 2020 is to actually do the shit and get new piercings and to just have fun with it and everything because it's like I've been wanting to get more piercings because the only one I have is my little beret here and I've had it for six and a half years now and then the final goal which again is easy to attain but only if I do things correctly and everything if I play my cards right but even though I know I would love to be able to achieve this I don't know if I'll be able to because I don't know which direction things will go in and everything with this because it's a very broad subject and that is traveling. I want to be able to travel in 2020. I wanted to be able to travel this year but due to like how things went and everything it just didn't work out and so hopefully with 2020 things will work out a lot better for me in general and I'll be able to travel this year. The only problem that I see though is figuring out where to go and actually picking and choosing a place to go to because there's so many places I want to go to like I want to go to Toronto and Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, LA, like maybe even somewhere out in Texas and Florida like I want to do some traveling and that's just here within North America. I also want to be able to travel out in Europe and figuring out all that stuff is the difficult part because it's just like for one I gotta save up for all this traveling because I mean like when it comes to like going to Florida I can at least drive there because I live in Atlanta but when it comes to like everywhere else I'm gonna have to fly there. I'm gonna have to fly there and if I'm gonna go like outside of the country I'm gonna need to 
find my passport and possibly even update my passport because shit I don't even know what my passport is even like I haven't even seen my passport since I was 16 and even then I didn't have like hands-on experience with it because my dad took care of everything hopefully in 2020 I'll be able to like get some traveling going and take care of that because it's like I have friends that I want to go visit there are also experiences that I want to be able to have and I can't do that here in Atlanta. I have to be able to go out and explore and experience those things. I know it took me a minute to get to talking about the goals for the year and everything and to actually talk about the resolutions and whatnot, but I mean, I ramble and when I finally got to the goals I was just like, let's get through this, gotta take care of all this, and I wound up speeding through it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this look. I really love how this look turned out. I haven't done, like, a softer look in a hot minute. It's still pretty intense. It's very grungy still, and still very much me, and I really like it. It's really clashing with my hair a little bit, in a way, because it's just, like, my hair is just, like, all funky right now, but I I love the makeup though. I really love this lip with this look too. It turned out so much better than I thought that it would. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and until I see you guys in my next one, whenever the hell that may be, it'll be my first video of the year maybe. But until I see you guys in that next video, goodbye and have a great new year.